hooked up with Muscle and Fitness, which is pretty much the biggest fitness magazine company, whatever you want to call it, that there is. Everyone's heard of them. Um, so what we're doing is a weekly video called the Dad Bod Destroyer. That's me. And basically, I'm giving you a weekly workout that you could do because a lot of people, when they become dads, they say they don't have time to work out because they're with their kids so much. So I'm giving you a workout that you could do while playing with your kids. So whether you're using your babies as dumbbells and curling them, whether you're doing push-ups while you're making funny faces at them and they're playing, it's some kind of silly workout that you could do that actually works while you're still watching and entertaining your kids. What has it been like to be a dad? Life changing. You know, everyone says it's life changing, and it's true. There's no other way to describe it. You know, you, me, in my case, I have two babies, not one, so I have two to look after. You know, I know I have to set an example for them, and, you know, i got to make sure everything in their life is going perfect. So, you know, you always have you always have to make sure you're completely on point in life. And then also it's a great feeling that you always have, um, you know, they're always there to make you happy and make you feel good because they're constantly, the age they're at now, they're constantly smiling and looking up to you and everything, so it's awesome. And you said it, there's two, so that's good because you got one to work the left arm, one to work the right arm. Hey, double trouble. I mean, I'm getting that, I'm getting an awesome workout that I don't even got to go to the gym. <laughs> what will it be when that day comes down the road and either of them or both of them say, Dad, I want to get into pro wrestling? Um, well, you know what it is? I'm not, I, I love pro wrestling and I grew up loving it, but I'm not going to push it on them at all. If they want to do it, that's cool. I would help them. If they don't, they don't. You know, I want them to have their own path and, you know, fall in love with something and take risks to do it like I did and uh, like their mom did also. She's, a, you know, she's pretty big in fitness. So what she does, she followed her own path and worked hard to get where she is. And um, whatever they choose to love, you know, I, I'm going to support them for it. But if they do say they want to be wrestlers, that would be cool and I would totally help them. Robbie, who do you credit with training and helping you develop through, through your career? Um, besides myself? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, think, I think wrestling is a lot of you either have it or you don't, so you have to have it in yourself. and You're kind of your own agent as far as getting your name out there and branching out. But the one person that I would say helped me a lot with my character and also helped me get you know my opportunity with Global Force Wrestling, uh, originally called TNA and then later Impact Wrestling, is Pat Kenny a.k.a. Simon Diamond was his wrestling name. And uh, I'm still good friends with him to this day, and he's helped me a lot throughout my career. What does Woodbridge High School mean to you? Um, well, it's the town that I grew up. I went to the high school over from it, but um, it's a high school that I used to teach at. Uh, I'm a certified physical education and health teacher. I have my bachelor's degree in it. Um, I'm almost done with my master's degree for administration, which I was doing before I started wrestling full-time. Uh, and, it's, you know, I taught there for two years. I made a lot of great connections with the students. And I still regularly go back to visit to kind of share my story of, um, I don't know if you want to call me a role model or whatever it is. I guess that sounds kind of crazy, but I am a role model. And I, I tell them that I had dreams and I followed it, and I want them to do the same. You know, they witnessed it. They watched me be a teacher one year and then watched me be on television the next year. Yeah, at that time, what was that like? Because here you are as a teacher, and then all of a sudden you're, you're doing your thing and you're seen everywhere. What was it like for the kids and the faculty and everybody that, whoa, this, look what this guy's doing now? Well, I, still, I, I started wrestling on television my second year of teaching, so I actually finished out the school year because I didn't want to leave halfway through. So I would literally fly places to wrestle, land, get someone to cover my first class, go right to school. Like, it was insane. But... Um, I won the X Division title early on in my career, which is a pretty big deal, and I, I got to bring it in and show all the students. I let them take pictures with it and stuff, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, it was it was wild. You know, they were watching me fist pump on television, and then I was teaching them the next morning. It was crazy. Where was the rival high school that you went to? Uh, it wasn't necessarily the rival high school. It was just in the same township. Uh, it was in Islin. It's called JFK, John F. Kennedy High School. So it was the town over. So they weren't necessarily rivals.